watch my videos? <laughs> 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 Solve this problem on the <laughs> um, Okay. So, oh, what was this? Oh. <laughs> right. How many followers do you have on Tumblr? Um, actually, 600 something. Like so, Twitter. <laughs> um, okay. So, if you guys are looking at this, right? Uh, we've been you talking about our one-to-one -one and our inverse properties. Well, here I have this four that's multiplied by this, right? So just when you guys are solving equations, right, you want to isolate, get rid of this x, or get your x by itself. Well, the same thing. I, I have this four over here. Let's get rid of the four, right? If this was like added four, I want to get this solved. So I'm going to divide by four on both sides. Therefore, I have three raised to the x equals five. All right, now. Um, you guys might say, well, Mr. McLogan, let's put them to the same base of three, right? This is to base three. Let's put this to base three. But that's going to be kind of difficult because three raised to what number gives you five, right? If it was easy. If this was nine, that would work. If I had like three to the x equals nine, you could say three to the x equals three squared, right? And x equals two. But we don't have it that easy. We have five. So I need to think of a different way I can do this. Well. That was one way we use our inverse property. Let's use the other form of our inverse property. If, I, if I'm evaluating for three raised to the x, if I take the log base three of this, right? what's going to happen is I'm going to take the log base three of three x equals log base three of five. Right? We talked about this before, that if you, you can take the log of both sides just like you can add a one on both sides. right? So if I take the log of both sides, I didn't change the answer at all. However, the important thing though that I did is I chose my logarithm to have a base three, right? And the reason why I chose my logarithm to have a base three is because I know my inverse property, whenever I take a logarithm that has the same base as what I'm evaluating it for, it cancels out to give me, you know, give me one and I'm just left with x equals log base three of five. Then, depending on your calculator, <laughs> you can either evaluate it or you can use your change of base form. And I'll use base 10 for your calculator. And it's do x equals log of 5 divided by x or divided by log of 3. Or you can do ln of 5 or ln of 3, whatever, but so that's you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions?